Jim Rogers, CEO of Duke Energy, played a big role in helping attract the convention and in helping fund it. Explain. He's co-chair of the host committee. And Duke, he's given the maximum amounts that he personally can give. Duke, as you said, is providing free office space for the committee. There are many other ties, money ties. Duke's many other executives have given money. Explain what Duke does, um, the various forms of energy plants that it has. So Duke is a transnational corporation, but here in North Carolina, Duke is a regulated utility that now, after the merger, provides electricity to most North Carolinians. And right now it does that overwhelmingly with coal and nuclear energy. And their plan is to continue using overwhelmingly coal and nuclear and some gas-fired plants. You spoke in front of Duke Energy at the protest. I did. Um, what did you say? I said now that Duke is the nation's largest utility. Duke should lead our country and the world to a rapid transition to clean, renewable electricity instead of fossil fuels and nuclear.